That was visceral. That was a visceral reaction. That was really scary. That was really intense. Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where it is so cold in here. Matt, it's so cold. I didn't have my mic. Yeah, no, it, it's chilly. It's so cold. <laughs> You'll see, I'm in my like full on uh, coat right now. I had it, to scrape ice off my car this morning. You did? Yes. Do you have a car scraper? No. <laughs> what did you use then? A dustpan. <laughs> I'm not built for this, Matt. <laughs> That's not even for a bit. You no, I really did that. that. No glove on my hand either. Bare hand. <laughs> the sacrifices I make for y'all. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Oh my gosh. Was I? Please tell me it wasn't a metal dustpan. No, it was plastic. Okay, thank goodness. Because I was going to say that's going to scratch up your car, you poor thing. <laughs> Oh, well, I know what I'm going to get you for your Valentine's Day gift. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Because at this point, I'm too old to buy one myself. A car scraper? Yeah. That's not true. I, it depends on where you live. They're like, going to make fun of me. Uh, I mean, they... They're going to be like, at your big age, you're finally now At your big age. No, I, you know, I, I actually want to defend you right now, Matt, because... Oh, you. Yeah, of course, because I just bought a car scraper for us this year. Okay. I mean, I did it... Prior to the large ice ice storm that, you know, was predicted for a week in advance under the expectation that, hey, I might need to scrape out my car. So, yeah. like, you know, planning ahead a little <laughs> bit. But, but to be fair, I, I bought the last one that was in the store. Okay. Because uh, they were wiped out because so everyone else was on the same page with me. It's not so. even worth it to go to the store. At yeah, point. at this point, probably not. Yeah, yeah I'll, we'll have to restock or something. Buy it off of Amazon or something. The other day I had to use a clothes hanger because that's all I had. <laughs> Matt, we need Life's to, hard. We, it, life is life is. There's so many small things yeah. all the time. Well, and the reason it's cold is because Steph and I uh, got hit with a big heating bill, and so Steph's like, "No more heat anywhere." And so Matt and I are literally carrying around a small space heater to yeah. to warm our bodies. Yeah. So, if you hear any humming in the past few videos, it it is the space. Heater it is the space heater, it's, and it's a great space heater. You yeah, know, it's really well. It's it's a it's a really quality space heater. Can you slide your mic over. Like, I can slide. Where you're, do you want it? You're rattling a little. Where do you want it slid? Like like aim it to 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 the right. Like here. Yeah. So it's aim touching the, less fabric. Aim it this way. Yeah. Okay. Let me know. That's perfect. Okay. Tell me if I'm still rattling. Nope. Okay. Coat hanger, huh? Yeah. But yeah. That, but to be fair, you know, it depends on where you live, right? So like when I was in Ohio. And in Cleveland area, mm -hmm. if you don't have an ice scraper, oh, you're just done. Yeah. Like, there's nothing you can do. You're, yeah. you're just out of... You are waiting in your car for no less than a half hour <laughs> for it to heat up, de-thaw, and for the ice to be able to, like, be in a loose position. I mean, you're... I, I have had to scrape Ooh. hardcore cars. Mm -hmm. I mean, that no amount of dust panning or <laughs> coat hangering is going to get that inch thick of ice off your windshield in the morning. Yeah. I also made the foolish mistake of, I thought for some reason that the windshield wiper fluid would melt the ice. Because <laughs> I was like, maybe, I don't know what I was thinking, but it made it way worse. It's like antifreeze, right? Antifreeze is a thing in a car. It's also blue, like it, windshield wiper fluid. Because the windshield was already frozen, the water froze immediately. On top of it, yeah. Uh, and so it just. So you just, you made it thicker. I'm, it's hot down here all the time. We're not used to this. <laughs> That's amazing. You're, you're, you're great. You, you and I will have a talk. I, to be fair, there is a strategy for using windshield wiper fluid. This is, again, a trick from Ohio. Mm. There's a strategy for using windshield wiper fluid once you're in kind of like that last phase of thawing. Oh, okay. Where you do like the spray and go. Yeah. Where the water loosens up mm. what little is under there and gets under the cracks. And then you can use the wipers to like... I see do it. I pulled the trigger too early. You put, yeah, you, you pulled it way too early, man. Okay. So you just added water onto frozen water, which created more frozen water. Nice. <laughs> Amazing. I, you're the best. I, I will get you. So uh, when Chris was here, we got him unscented lotion because he was very clear that that was something that he wanted Wait, and needed really? in his life. Uh huh. Where? What? I didn't get any lotion. Uh, no, that was years ago. 
Me? You're, no, Chris. I said Chris got unscented lotion. Oh. So this, oh. You, your random gift, okay. will be an ice scraper. Feel free to throw in some unscented lotion, too. <laughs> I, let's, not, <laughs> let's, not, let's not get too crazy here, man. Jeez. <laughs> Listen, he needed the unscented squeaky lotion. Squeaky grease, wheel, etc. Squeaky, squeaky. Wait, no. Squeaky <laughs> grease. <laughs> squeaky <laughs> grease. Yep, all that squeaky grease, Matt. Good one. Maybe when you, maybe when you learn how to say the phrase, maybe then we'll do some. Hey, what am I playing? Um, I think you're gonna like this one. You know how much you love when games are about your house getting intruded on. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, sure. Is this one of those? Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. That's that's what you get for making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am offering you a free... Uh, your ice scraper's gone. No more. I'm just going to buy you a, a rack of coat hangers now. Here's a bunch of wire hangers. There you go. No wire hangers! Is that a reference? Or you're just doing that. You don't know wire hangers? Really? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, we have a lot to talk about. Okay. Let them know. You guys, I'm hoping, know the wire hangers reference. They do. They they, they told me through the uh, camera. Yeah. They know this. this they, the, RuPaul. You and I watch oh, RuPaul's Drag Race. RuPaul mentions that all the time. Is No. Okay. Okay. We'll talk. Yeah. We'll talk. We, All right. We haven't Wait. talked Drag Race either. No, we, we have a lot to catch up. We have a lot to talk yeah. about. Okay. That's th also when we're talking about movie tastes mm -hmm. and our, our our affections for movies. Yeah. That is that's a must watch for you. That'll be an important one to watch. It's movie reference. I still don't know what we're referencing though. It's fine. Beers to fathom. What is this? Home Alone. Okay, I'm home alone. I'm gonna get killed. I Great. Think you get the vibe. So uh, for those of you who don't know, Home Invasion games. Of all the scary horror games that we've played on this channel. Home invasion games are the ones that get me the most. I don't know why. I don't... I mean, I, I do know why. It's because they're very realistic. And it's, you know, as opposed to, like, animatronic attacking you or spooky ghost girl attacking you, which is a little bit scarier. The idea of... Excuse me. The idea of someone breaking your... That is a real thing. That is a real fear. And that is scary. Uh, so... Uh, all right. I, I have been wrecked for weeks playing these games in the past, so I'm, I'm very appreciative of Matt. Well, it's a quick one. This It'll be over before you know it. It's like a shot in the arm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like a, a quick in and out of home invasion. <laughs> yeah. Great. The best ones always are. <laughs> <laughs> the most successful ones tend exactly. to be, I think. All right. Fear is the fat episodic horror, so this is what? Part so this one? This episode of one. Okay. There is an episode two. Oh, okay. Depending on how much you like this one, maybe we'll play it. Cool. Home Alone. I, I, I wish this was a Home Alone game rather than Fears to Fathom. So it was just like me as Macaulay Culkin going, ah! And trying to stop some like burglars. This is the second Home Alone reference we've made. In, in a couple weeks, I know. It's, we're bringing it back, it's man. It's topical. It is. You it's know how we're always topical on this channel. It's very relevant. <laughs> All right, episodes. Home Alone. Oh, and Norwood Hitchhike. Oh, Hitchhikers. Hitchhikers! That's another creepy one. All right, Fears to Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game. Where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived. Oh, so these are what, based on real things? No. Great, <laughs> you are playing episode one. More episodes are coming soon. Great. Maybe, yeah, actually, I don't know. <laughs> so you just randomly gave us information yeah. that you blatantly know might be wrong. Maybe. Great, Fears to Fathom one, Home Alone. July 12th. It's my brother's birthday. Your kids. Oh, happy birthday to your brother. Thank you. I didn't want to put this up on. Just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. Well, they survive, so that's good. I guess I'll just start. This is taking that book out of The Conjuring. Plain yellow text on a black screen. They're like, oh, that was scary. It was in the middle of summer. My parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip. Which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. 
Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day. Though I did plan on fixing that. Good. Take advantage. Yeah. Positive thinking. Power of positive thinking. Okay. Ugh. Ooh. Is that, is that a burglar alarm? I mean, I would assume. Okay, I can, I can stretch. Not, not, not a whole lot I can do here. I'd, I'd love to turn off that awful wailing. Hopefully this scared someone away. Maybe. Uh, oh, wait. A dot has been undone. Nope. E. Q. A. W. Enter. Space. Shift. I love sitting here listening to this. This is the best sound ever. This is so good. I'm assuming I should be able to maneuver at this point. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe this is an escape puzzle game. <laughs> Maybe I just have to sit here experiencing this misery for- oh! <laughs> that is the most aggressive alarm clock ever. Let me just throw- let me just throw that out there. Aggressive alarm clock. Well, I'm glad that I figured out that I needed to turn- turn off the alarm. Space, get up. I was pretty convinced that that was a burglar alarm, though. Like, that, that is not the sound of any sane person's alarm clock. You're thinking of, like... Oh, my alarm clock is like a doomsday thing. Is it? What's your yeah. alarm clock sound like? It's, it's literally like, a, like a, the loudest ringing alarm that you could have. Yeah? Yeah. Because I'm prone to sleeping through them. Do you only have one, though? I think that's the crucial question. Yeah. Here. People who switch it up are insane. Yeah. People who use music as their alarm. That I don't understand. That's crazy. hard. Right? That's pretty crazy. Mm. I did have homework. I did have homework that night. I really did have to do homework. But as I said, I had to eat something first. Huh. <laughs> no, really. Get up and go feed my face. Shut up. Eat some food. Okay, fine. Well, now I'm really paranoid. I, uh, now that I know it's home alone and Matt's telling me it's home invasion stuff, I'm, like, just looking out the windows. Is that my stomach? It's your stomach. Is that my stomach growling? Hit escape to read messages? That's unusual. Okay. Uh, Dad and I may be back uh, by Sunday evening. Why are you being so paranoid, Mom? I'm 14! I think I'm going to take a little nap. Probably going to order some pizza. Yes! No need to order anything. Already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Okay. Uh, how's Kem? Oh, I totally forget. Probably got to do that tonight. Same. My parents are out for the night. Want to come over? We can play Mario Kart. Yes! I'll let you know. Okay, Josh, too. Can't promise, dude. We have plans with Nat. Okay. Escape again? Okay. Is that my stomach? It sounds like a... Like a motorcycle revving up. Oh, hello. Okay, before I go downstairs. Don't ask me why, but I went straight to my parents' room. <laughs> That's actually really funny. <laughs> I like that the game just has that written into it. Uh, can I turn on the light in my parents' room? I cannot. It is just very dark. 8.03. Time had also... S reached a standstill. I had literally reached a moment in time where I felt like a time lord. Time was meaningless. We had entered into a wormhole. C2 crouch. Great. <laughs> I randomly crouched in the kitchen because I, I felt the need to crawl on my way to the refrigerator. I'm very concerned about the sounds that- Oh! Wait, what? Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate the fact that that just happened. Yeah, just, oh, hello. Whoa! Wow. A lot of food. G to throw. Food was cold. 
food was cold. So I threw, threw it in there. Food was heating up. I like that we've also foregone all sentence structure now. Food was in the process of burning. What, what is that sound? Is that a microwave? Is that a vent? <laughs> what? Food was heating up. Okay. Food was nice and hot. I liked watching TV while I ate. I can throw it. Where is my TV? Here we go. Oh, this is, this is so swell. Okay. I liked watching TV. I turned on my favorite episode of Narcos. Nope. I turned on my favorite episode of Planet Earth? My favorite episode of Survivor? This looks kind of survivory. <laughs> what is this? What is this supposed to be? Ha! <laughs> it looks survivory. I'm getting ancient aliens. Oh, I can see ancient aliens. That could be it. I don't know, these vistas and stuff, this looks survivor. Look, he's entering into tribal council. Yeah. He's doing an immunity challenge right now. Where's Jeff? Yeah, right? Where's where's my probes? Where's Jeff probes, man? Okay. This is it's a very dramatically shot episode of Survivor, I will admit. Oh, he's entering into tribal council. This is fascinating, by the way. This is great. This, oh this Tribal Council <laughs> might have gotten a little bit of a redesign this season. This is exciting. It's got exciting music and stuff. This is great. I'm sorry, but the tribe has spoken. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, that, that part of the, the Survivor format where they, they summon the devil. Classic. That's how the tiebreaker. <laughs> it's a fire making challenge. Yeah, Usually exactly. it's a fire making challenge, yeah, but they summon the devil. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if you rub the sticks together fast enough, I hear that Satan will actually pop up. Wow, this is really dramatic. This is great. I am so enthralled by what this is right now. Am I supposed to be watching this? Because it's really exciting. They put a lot of work they, into this. There's a, I was gonna say, I don't know if there's a game happening around me right now. But look at this! He's like getting possessed! Oh no! No! Oh, that was so good! That was amazing, they cut it at like the most exciting part. Oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> I can't believe they put that much work into that. That was so good. <laughs> can I can I eat this? Okay, there we go. Wow, I ate a whole, that was a lot of lasagna. Just devoured that. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> Someone's a hungry boy. All right. I was already feeling very sleepy after eating the food. I had just gotten up a mere minutes prior. But, you know. <laughs> G to throw. Oh, hello. Escape. Uh, we can play Mario Kart. I can't promise, dude. May have plans with Nat. Okay, we're gonna have to call it off, man. Something just came up. But you gotta come to Jessica's tomorrow. Okay, and I checked the fridge. Okay, we're good, good there. All right. I can also crouch. Here, I'm gonna put this in the, in the sink. I remembered I had to finish up my homework. There we go. Did I... I, ate the, I ate the whole lasagna. Okay, I remembered I had to finish up my homework. Okay, yep. Great. This is... I, I love the dramatic music coming from Survivor downstairs. It's not at all... Oh. I'm sorry, Miles. Gotta see you tomorrow. Okay. This is so intense. Shut the door behind me and do my homework. I couldn't focus because of the TV's noise downstairs. I understand, actually. It is so loud. So, you know what? I don't blame you on that one. 
Wow. Someone was in the process of getting eliminated from Tribal Council. Oh. And just, see, you just had to wait for it to restart, man. Boop. There we go. Now then, let's focus on some homework, shall we? Let's do it! Do that cam! Let's talk about some sig figs! Do you do sig figs in school, Matt? I haven't heard that w that term since 11th grade. Well. And it sent chills up my spine to hear it again. <laughs> Forget home invasion scare. I never could figure that out. Sig figs were real dumb. I, I was not a big fan of the sig figs, gotta admit. All right, here we go. 12, 38 a.m. I got done with the homework for the day in a few hours. Cool. Homework was done. I was off to bed. You know it. Do I need to go to the bathroom? Let's see. Don't stay up too late, you kids. I shouldn't get to hear from Mrs. Paula this time. Okay. All right. Change. I like how well read I am that there's daily newspapers at the foot of my bed. <laughs> like, what 14 year old take it, doing his chemistry homework is like, ah, yes, let me check up on the day's events. I do feel like that was you. No, <laughs> I was only interested in the comics and okay. the, the word puzzles. Mm. Uh, I got, I needed some water. Okay. Let me get some water. 116. Great. <laughs> ah, yes, let me check up on my stock portfolio. See what's happening in the world markets today. <gasps> uh, okay, so if this was me, even at 14, I would literally flip on every... It's oh, too dark. 100%. Yeah, you're flipping on every light. Yeah. Every light. You're all... You might... If I'm home alone, I might even be sleeping with the lights on. Mm -hmm. gotta, gotta admit. Oh, it is so dark. All right, he needs water, which I'm assuming he needs water from downstairs. Which, let's be honest, I'm not going downstairs for water. 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 You're going to the bathroom for water. In the middle of the night, you ain't going downstairs for water. Get out of here. Oh, man. Look at him. He's, wow, he's doing the bottled stuff? <laughs> Who am I? Right? <laughs> Sorry. I, I... Low income mat pad over here. Let me get. Let me pull up a glass and open it. Fill up it with a sink. I do think that drinking the bathroom tap water is a little gross. Is it? Yeah. What about sink? What about sink, sink tap water from kitchen? They're different. Are they? they are. I don't think they are. No, they literally taste different. Are you sure? Hundred percent. Okay. Ooh, chug it. See, now you're gonna have to go to the bathroom in the middle of, at three in the morning. You're gonna wake up and have to pee. This is a bad idea, I think. You gotta hydrate. <laughs> Not at one in the morning. One in the morning. This is all gonna come straight through you've in never, two or three hours from now. You've never woken up with an extreme thirst. <laughs> I I have a lot of extreme thirst during the day. Mm. Wow, look at him just chugging this stuff, man. Ooh, nice. Okay. Okay. I guess that's the sound of satisfied drinking. I mean, maybe. Yeah, I, I don't have, I, honestly, I don't really have much of a problem when it comes to, no, okay. Sometimes. When it comes to drinking water from, like, various sinks. Mm, okay. Doesn't really affect me too much. I, I uh, and maybe, a difference. And maybe, maybe at my house it didn't taste all that different? Huh, that's weird. Did you have a special filter on your Probably. kitchen? Probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We did, I just drew, like, tap water was tap water was tap water. Mm. Yeah, even at the house I live at now, the, the kitchen sink tastes different than the bathroom sink. Oh, yeah? Image. Miles, who's that at the door? You there? Where is she getting this image from? She's got like a ring, like an like a, one of those doorbells. But, so, oh. th no, this is from across, you're right, maybe, but this is literally from across the street. Mrs. Paula. That's what it is. You're right, that's what it is. Okay, click to hide. All right, great. I'm just going to hide. I'm not answering the door. Nope. No thanks. Hide. And then I fell asleep. And then I woke up the next morning and it was fine. And it was good. 
and I, and I waited the rest of the night <laughs> and I had no problems whatsoever and everyone left me alone and I survived. I have to get up, don't I? I can't just hide here. Yeah. Darn it. Fine. Man, when one of when one of your prompts is click to hide, that ain't great. Ugh. I still have a bottle. Can I throw the bottle at him? Oh, hello, mom. Oof. Okay. Said he's been creeping. Th what? Said he's been. Paula sent me. Said he's been creeping through the windows. We're calling the cops. You kids lock every door and hide in your room. Don't answer the door no matter what he does. You kids lock every door and hide in your room. Oh. Well, you gotta lock the door. I don't want to lock the door. The door should have been locked already. It's my own fault if the door wasn't locked, okay? I've opened the door. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, God! <laughs> And then he sent me Morse code. <laughs> he sent me Morse code. Oh, that was visceral. That was a visceral reaction. That was really scary. That was really <laughs> scary. That was really intense. Did I did I screw up, Matt? I think so. yeah. I think you, you think I you think I lost that one? Yeah, pretty bad. Did, did I lose? Did I lose she the game? She said lock the doors and you opened it. <laughs> no matter what you do, do not open the door. And I proceeded to open the door. All right, let's try it again. Nope. Don't love that. All right, I'll be, I'll, I'll be less <laughs> obtuse this time. Can I lock the doors in advance? I'd love to lock the doors in advance. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, hey, guess what? Boom, you can turn that off. I woke up around eight after a nap that evening, after studying the world's markets. I was hungry, so I, I did have homework, but I was too hungry to do it right after waking up. Mom sent me many text messages. She told me that there was lasagna in the fridge, that my friends were there, great. Okay, so where, where is the door lock here? Is this it? See, that just... How do I lock this door? How do I, how do I lock said door? There's no prompt that says lock the door. Also, are, where are all the other doors in the house? Just, let's just, let's just do this right now. Let's just give a lay of the land knowing where, what, where this is all headed. Okay, I can't go that way apparently. I can crouch, I can peek at things. I grabbed the lasagna, food was cold. So I put it in there. Okay, here's a door back here too that we can lock. Hello. Ah, oh, I went outside to check out my beautiful yard, our empty pool that was empty for the season. The car in the carport. All right, my lasagna was done, but I did not care, for I knew that someone would be on my doorstep soon. How are we gonna lock the door? Hmm, that is intriguing. Okay, so we got the bat. So we got three doors. We got the front door, side door, and this back door right here. All right. I liked watching TV while I ate. So I flipped on Survivor Demonic, <laughs> Demonic Summoning on, uh, Edition and I began to consume my lasagna. I chewed it very slowly. I ate a whole pan of it. Calorically, this was a very bad decision. <laughs> the carbs were going to be hitting me hard later that night. 
right? Let's be honest, this kid is sleeping. This kid is sleeping hard because he just absorbed like 5,000 calories of carbs from that lasagna. He is sleeping hard tonight. He ain't waking up for anything. You could have like a fireworks show. There we go. I remember I had to finish doing my homework. You could have a fireworks show outside his window. This kid's not waking up, let alone home intruder. Get out of here. You ever stay home alone? No. Really? Never. No, never. Huh. Never. Uh, because my mom worked days, my dad worked nights. Mm. So uh, being home alone was never something that I ever had. I see. Yeah. You? Yeah, all the time. Really? Not all the time, but uh -huh. I had a single parent. Yeah. She was busy. Was it scary? No, I was old enough to do it. Yeah? I think I was like 16. Okay. I could drive. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, you have to be old enough. Like, I right? Like, that's a thing. But yeah, my parents my parents didn't tend to go out or anything, so it was very much, uh, it was very much just me, you know, hanging out with them. Mm -hmm. Don't stay up too late. I shouldn't hear from Miss Paula. Okay, well, Miss Paula apparently is taking photos of her house, and is very attentive because she sees like random people in the middle of the night coming up to our door. I will say I used to house sit. Ooh, see, I feel like that would be scary. That was terrifying. Th that's also like straight out of Mandela catalog now. Yeah. Because. You were probably hearing some demonic cats down in the basement. <laughs> yep. Right? No, there was one, <coughs> one house yeah. where I only went into two of the rooms because I was like, guaranteed there's a demon in one of them. Really? Mm -hmm. Huh. Did you know this? How yeah, did you no, get this house sitting here? They were like friends of, of like They were friends, friends, but you knew that they were summoning demons in the, the basement? They just lived in the scariest house you could imagine. Really? Mm -hmm. Massive, old, creaky house. Oh, yeah. Old, creaky houses, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Only tungsten lighting. Oh yeah, the, right. That that's scary. I could see that. All right. So now. So now we have scary messages. Here's where mom sends it to us. Let's see if we die slightly less quickly this time. Because apparently I'm supposed to be able to survive this story, which I did not <laughs> the first time. Image, who's this at the door? You there? I respond to mom. I am here. I cannot apparently. Nope. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm impressed that I was able to actually send a message. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Help. Mom, please come back from whatever you're doing. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just, I continued to chug my water. All right, well, I guess I'm forced to go back downstairs. All right, here we go. So mom sent a bunch of messages. This is where she says, Creeping through the windows, we're calling the cops. You kids lock every door. Don't answer the door no matter what he does. Lock every door and hide in your room. So, now comes the part where we try to lock a door. Which, you know. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Cool. So I see him. What's he doing? He's just standing there. If we watch him long enough, maybe nothing will happen. <laughs> he's, he's not as scary when you see him from this perspective. No, we could take him. I, I, right? I feel like, you know, grab a knife. I, I've got the advanced warning of this guy. Oh, I'm going baseball bat. Uh, well, I mean, sure. I, don't, I know that we have a kitchen. I don't know if we have a baseball mm, bat. That's okay. my thing. But yeah, right? We could take this guy. Look at him. He's like have a lasagna pan. Right? Lasagna pan is a big win here. All right. What are you trying to do with this guy? So he's, he's just kind of living his life. I like that he's got his grabby hands all ready to go to. He's like, I'm going to get him. Just wait. He's not going to peek through the, the, the peephole or anything. I'm going to get him. How do you know it's not like a team? I mean, it could be. Hey, dude. 
I'm not opening this door for you. But I also apparently cannot lock the door. Is there a, is is there no way to lock the door? I think the doors are locked. So just go back and hide. <laughs> take eat some more lasagna. Take a, take a cool sip of my water. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go hide. I guess since Mom's like, hey, go hide. Apparently the windows are locked. The doors are locked. Forgive me, when a game tells me, go lock the doors, I assume that that's the game telling me to do something. Here we go. Well, gonna go back to sleep. Good night, everyone. Bye. Strap in. Lasagna pan at the ready. Boom! Pan in the face. Oh, that's the window. He broke a window. That's not good. It's not a good situation. Nope. Nope. He broke a window. Why would he ring the doorbell? If you rang, if you broke the window, you're in, dude. Congratulations, you won. You, you got what you wanted. Lasagna. Pan to the face. It's Paula at the door. Is it? Oh, oh, wait, here, okay. Oh, hey, Mom. Where'd you get this photo from? Paula sent me. Said he's been creeping through the windows. We're calling the cops. Lock everything. Who is he? Do you hear her? It's Paula at the door. Mom's so sorry, honey. Everything's gonna be all right. Oh, okay. It's better be Paula, Mom. This better not be a bait and switch. Is this Paula at the door? I don't know. Did he get my mom? Okay! I think you should hide. Yeah. I mean, he's in the house. I, yes. Okay. And I went back to bed. <laughs> Can I text my mom, hey, he's in the house, tell Paula to call 911? Oh, jeez. <laughs> no. Hey! Police? Watch get him. Neighborhood watch for the win. Oh god! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Paula! Why are you still standing creepily at my doorstep? Paula! Damn it, Paula! This is why no one wants to go over to your house anymore. Uh I do, here, you know, <laughs> uh, I will say, I, I actually really appreciate a game where the gameplay mechanic is do not engage. Honestly, every, every other game is like, hide around, stealth around, like, shut everything, and what, no, hide in a closet, like, get out the way, get to a safe area, and just hunker down and wait and continue waiting and continue waiting. That's it. That's great. I, I think that is brilliant. And yeah, it feels like you're waiting a long time because guess what? In real life, that's what it would be. You're just like, all right, wait till it's absolutely clear. Call 911, done. That's it. That's I think that's brilliant. I think the idea of a wait in order to win game yeah. is brilliant. It's a pro strat. It is. It's a pro strat. Because it's also, like, so antithetical to video games. Where it's like, stealth. You know, run around. Uh-oh, you made too much noise. Uh-oh, get back. No. Just hide. Protect yourself. You know. Get a weapon. 
barricade yourself in a door. Hopefully they don't bother you, but you're protected either way, and you're just there. And hopefully the cops come, maybe call the cops, whatever. That's it. That's great. That was fun. F I don't know if fun is the right word. I have fun. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. You had fun watching me get abducted by the, the creepy grabby hand man? <laughs> yeah. Waiting outside. Ah, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. He's going to open his door and I'm going to get him. He looked like a Daryl to me. A Daryl? Mm -hmm. Daryl, the grabby hands man? Yeah. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Frank. It's a yeah. Frank or a Daryl. I see that. Yeah. Uh, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, they survived. So that's good. Just wait in your bed and hide until the requisite amount of time has passed. And that's it. He had a cell... The thing is, he had a cell phone the whole time. Oh, yeah. He totally could have just called 911. He should have just called 911 from the get-go. Yeah. His mom should have called 911. Well, she did. Are you or sure it wasn't Paula? Paula? I feel did. like Paula did. Paula I feel like that. Paula was really the all-star of yeah. this game. Let's Not be honest. Paula. Paula. Yeah. Yo, Paula. Good for you. Mom, get out of the way. You're holding us back. Mom's just like, I'm at my party, honey. Sorry, I can't help you from the home intruder. <laughs> Daddy's a little tipsy right now. <laughs> Mad. Thanks, guys. So anyway, uh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is Home Invasion by, what was it called? Home Alone. Home well, Alone. Fears to Fathom, Home Alone. Fears to Fathom. Yep. Okay, Fears to Fathom, Home Alone, uh, which apparently there is a second part of. And hey, I appreciate it. That was like brief and to the point. Terrifying. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to lock your doors every night, all night. Seriously, it's part of my nightly routine. It should be part of yours, too. Because it'll make you feel a lot safer. And as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!